good morning everybody it is super cold today like super cold <laughs> um still in my best though because i'm always like doing stuff at home so i get quite warm i mean a crazy hair day today <laughs> to be fair i've literally just shoved it up in a ponytail i haven't been up very long I feel very shell-shocked today because <laughs> little one was poorly in the night. Like this cough was kept waking her up. So we were up and down like a yo-yo. Anywho, waiting to find out whether Conquer Market is going ahead again today or not because um, half of Forest School are poorly. So that's a shame. But because it's so cold, these are butternut squashes that we grew on our allotment and I'm just going to quickly roast them. They're quite small, but one, you know, so they'll be okay. I'm going to roast them and I am going to make some butternut squash to take in my thermos flask to keep for my lunch and to keep warm. <laughs> so I'm going to do that right now. There's no scooping out to do. Look, these don't have any seeds in, which is... Weird. There's a little bunny that has come to say hello. Good morning. Are you okay? It's because you can hear mummy in the kitchen, isn't it? You want num nums? You want num nums? Yeah, you do. Shall I see if I can find you something? Okay, I'll find you something. Do you fancy some cauliflower? Yeah, thanks, mum. Thanks, mum. Yeah, I does. I does fancy that. <laughs> I need to hoover that floor again, don't I? There's um, that blue stuff, my youngest daughter. Play sand, kinetic sand. Oh, the housework never ends. Never ends, does it, Flozzy Tozzy? This, if you don't know, is Florence Tinkerbell Fluffy Tail. And she is nine years old. And we've had her since she was a baby. And she's my beautiful. At one point, she was, um, well, when we got her, she um, had her best friend with her that she'd been with ever since ever since she was born. But we'd already got two rabbits then. So at one point, she lived with four rabbits. So we had four rabbits and two guinea pigs. Um, this is before we had children. <laughs> um, and sadly, you know, such is life with these beautiful small little creatures. They've gone and we just have Florence left. But because she's a house bunny, she has lots of company because we're always here. Well, someone is nearly always here because John works from home. Obviously, we, although we're out and about a lot, we are home ed, so we're here quite a lot. And as you can see, she's quite sociable. So she hears me chopping or doing stuff in the kitchen and she comes trotting out to say hello and then she comes in the front room and sits with us in the evening if we're watching telly or something if we're crafting or working up the table um she comes and sits usually by me not the kids because the kids are noisy and wiggly um but she usually comes and sits under my chair or sits with me and she's my best little friend i love her to pieces right good news we've had the conquer market is going ahead today that's good because my eldest is so excited. Can't wait to go. Gonna leave the youngest at home, I think. Because it's very cold. She's got a cough. Um, so the squash is in the oven. This is my thermos flask. Um, and the trick to these, because I, I post sometimes on Instagram my flask, and people have sort of said about um they haven't had much success, they haven't found it keeps the food hot. Well, the secret is that the key is to fill it up before you put your food in if you want hot food, is to fill it up with boiling hot water from the kettle and leave it in there for a while. I say a while, as long as you can, I guess, until there's, you know, so that it heats up the metal and then pour the hot water out, pour your food in and it will keep it hot. Similarly, you can, did you know this? You can take ice cream on a hot day out in these Again, though, you have to do the reverse. So you put this in the freezer for a bit to cold to freeze the metal to make the metal really cold inside, and then put it in, and then it works like a charm. And if you just want room temperature food, just use it as it is. 
and welcome to my instructional videos. Look at that. So we've got half of the squash is nice and soft and roasted. I roast it rather than boil it because I think it has a nicer flavour. And in here, ready to go, I've got onion and garlic. And then I fried those with a bit of garam masala, turmeric and coriander. And I've got some potatoes. I will um, also use the water, a bit of the water of the potatoes. I don't use stock or anything um, because I, for me, like the spices are flavoursome enough. But just a bit of potato just to thicken it up. And then we'll whiz it all up. But the beauty of it is everything is being grown by us. So the potatoes are grown by us at the allotment, the onion and garlic and the butternut squash. It's like we're going out on a massive expedition. So just checked we've got all our boots and coats. This is all our conquer market stuff. Ooh. And, then, and then we've got extra warm clothes in there. And yes. <laughs> I'm about to start the car, so let's see. Well, it's at three degrees right now. All right, so I've got my tea in there and a little snack for the journey, and I'm going to stop off at the post office on the way to post orders. So you guessed the amount of marshmallows in the jar and yeah. you won them. Yeah. And, and you've got two scrunchies you've bought and two bracelets you've bought. And I've got loads two of biscuits. Cookies. I've got loads of biscuits, loads of cakes. Um, and a few other bits and bobs at my still behind the awesome. price board. I put all my stuff behind my price board.
So we had an absolutely awesome time at Forest School today. Oh my goodness, it was so lovely just seeing all the talents of all the children. Yeah, there's just so many awesome things that were being made. It was just amazing and gave us very much the, the home ed warm fuzzies that we call it. Um, so this morning, Spudsy had um, her science class. You were doing moon today, weren't you? Yeah, we learned about the because when the moon goes crescent, half or all them different ones. There's quite a lot. Waning, waxing. Oh yeah, waning, waxing. Yeah. Them ones. And then after your science class, you then did a Shakespeare. Shakespeare. You're learning about Hamlet, aren't you, in Shakespeare? Yeah. Um, at the moment, we're just learning about Rose and Hearts and Guildenstern. Um, Who? Guildenstern. Oh, okay, fair enough. Right. Um, they were Hamlet's old school friends. Hamlet's old school friends. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, and they're spying on him. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Now they work for the king. Oh, interesting. So Thursday's a bit of full on day they never used yeah. to be quite so full-on no. so yeah she has two online classes in the morning and then we go to forest school and we're often at the so forest school is like two hours but we always play like before and after as well so yeah we leave the house sort of between half 11 and 12 we don't get back again till like five o'clock so we just had some um, sausage mash and beans when we got in, just to warm ourselves up. And when I was saying about it being cold, I know there are some of you who live in much colder places in the world, but the trouble is in England, we're just so used to a fairly mild climate, like all year round. Actually, so, I just, when we went to Scotland, it was minus seven, and I'm used to that now. <laughs> when we went to I'm Scotland. Still going down for minus seven. Yeah. So. <laughs> Just put in the smallest one to bed because she's still poorly. She didn't come to forest school with us. No, she so she was poorly. So she's off to bed now. And oh, yeah, we've written our letters to Father Christmas because we always yeah. do that. The last day of November, we always write our letters to Every Father Christmas. Year. Yeah, and then our elf comes and Joanna Jingle, Bell. Jingle Bells and she takes the letters with her and she brings our advent calendars, doesn't she? Yeah, and we get sweeties before breakfast. Sweeties before breakfast. Mmm. This is Joanna's door. This is where she comes out of. Um, um, yeah, it's and just, you can't touch it because it's magical. It is magical. And it's and just been there. Ever touch it. It's just been there forever, isn't it? So every yeah. time, so normally our sideboard lives like here where the Christmas tree is. Normally our sideboard is there. Um, it is currently over there. Um, we need room for the tree. Yeah, so we need room for the tree. And then whenever we move the sideboard, we see the little dog. The little Joanna. Joanna Jingle Bells doll. Mm -hmm.